This is the Katata C-Pad, the latest addition to the Papercut certified hardware family. C-Pad terminals are a manufacturer neutral solution and can turn almost any copier into a Papercut tracked and controlled machine. Today I'll be running you through some of the core features of Papercut on the C-Pad. This is the authentication screen. The C-Pad works by locking the copier until a user has authenticated through the screen. They are then tracked and controlled accordingly. The C-Pad supports various modes of authentication. You can log in using a username and password combination, or if you've connected a USB card reader like we have done here, you can log in using a card. This is both quick and easy. I've already linked this card with my account at the C-Pad by using card self-association. After authenticating, I'm now taken into the interface. We've configured this device here with a print release queue. This can easily be done in device settings via the Papergut admin interface. On this screen you can see a list of my held jobs which are awaiting release. At the base of the screen here are controls for the release queue. After highlighting a job, I can now print or cancel the job. If I want to see more information about the highlighted document, I can see full details by pressing the job details button here. I also have an option to print all of the documents in the queue by selecting the print all button here. If I want to use the copier's functions and ignore the release queue entirely, I can activate the connected copier by pressing the Use Copier button here. Here in the Papergut office, the administrator has configured this user to charge to shared accounts. And here I'm presented with the account selection screen. This is user configurable, so is an optional step. But in this case, the user has configured to charge to shared accounts or departments. So here we can see accounts such as my personal account, and accounts such as economics department, history department, and mathematics department. We also have the option to search through the shared accounts by keyword. This is useful if you have many accounts, which is common in a large corporate setting. Alternatively, you could search for an account by code. This is useful for fast account selection if you have a specified code with a particular department or shared account. Here I'll select my personal account. This is the copy session screen. This screen reports current printing costs within your session on the copier and charges the selected account accordingly. The CPAD keeps track of the cost of your session in real time, as demonstrated here. And here you can see the total cost of the session and the remaining balance of the account. At any time, I can log out of the user's account on the CPAD, which will once again lock the device and block copier functions, maintaining a safe and secure environment. I can do this by either selecting the logout button or by swiping my card again. And that's our brief tour of the CPAD copier control terminal. You can see more information about the CPAD and other MFD solutions at www.papercutmf.com.